Hey guys, get level here, and once again today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own overlays without using any editing software, everything straight into your broadcasting software. Today, this broadcasting software is going to be OBS Studio. I made a bunch of videos on um, Streamlabs OBS. This time, I wanna show you how to do it in OBS Studio because although it's exactly the same process, but I wanna show it to you, okay? If you don't have time to make your own overlays, you can go to gumroad.com slash get level. This is where I keep my uh, professionally made overlays. Most of them are free and then the rest is just extremely affordable. There's actually a little selection of Christmas overlays at gumroad.com slash get level too. So check them out. Anyways, I went grocery shopping the other day and I saw this little thing and I was like, okay, I'm probably not going to buy it for myself because, you know, um, my place already looks like a Christmas tree. But then I was like, hey, I could make like an animated overlay with this. All I have to do is just point the camera at it and then record it and then boom, that's my overlay. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I'm here in OBS Studio and the first thing that I'm gonna do is add a video capture device. I already have my Logitech C920 because that's what we're gonna be using. Oh, you thought I was gonna use a fancy DSLR or whatever. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing fancy. I don't want any excuses of, oh, I can't do it because I, no, no, no. We're using the Logitech C920 because it actually turns out that it has great um, focus. The focus is like very macro. So this is a small little object and this is what we're gonna use. What we're gonna do um, after that is go to settings. So this is OBS, I added my C920 and what we're gonna do is go to settings and we're gonna make sure that our video settings are good for recording. So output mode uh, is gonna be simple here when you click output and then bottom of it, you will see recording. So this is the recording path. This is where it will record your videos. Uh, this is recording quality. I have it on indistinguishable quality, large file size. You can make it even higher if you want to, but that's not necessary. And then MP4 format for me. And then in video, we'll have 1080p, 60 FPS. Knowing well that, you know, the Logitech 920 does not record 60 FPS anyways, but whatever. Okay. Uh, hi, this is me. This is the Logitech 920 right now. And this is that little thing that we're gonna put. Right now, the focus point is about here. Okay, and we want it to be something like this. Okay, we're gonna create a tiny little scene. I'm just gonna put some random boxes and then show the background and that's it. We're just gonna click record. We're gonna have like a five second video and then we will put that on a loop and we will make a, a, a overlay out of it. Anyways, okay, um, while we're here. Okay, right click on the C920. Well, actually let's set up the scene a little bit. I'm just gonna use, I have this box for my new phone. Whoop, where is it? Okay. Just put a box, just put whatever. And the goal here is to have some lights. If you actually have a a, um, a Christmas tree with some lights, we're gonna use the bokeh effect a lot. So make sure that it is visible. So I'm gonna put that on a table. I should probably put, so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, there we go. So I'm gonna just put that here. Okay. Ah, oh, there's so much glitter. <laughs> and uh, sorry. And we're gonna place it here. And then I need to find a box to put my camera on. So much glitter. Oh no. I just put it on. That's the OK True Wireless earbuds. <laughs> I'm gonna, this is gonna be my camera stand, okay? Let me put my phone out of the way. Okay, boom. And then I was gonna try to show you the Logic XC920, but um, I'm using it right now. Okay, cool. I might wanna wipe it down a little bit. Let me use my shirt. Sorry. Make sure there's no dust on the lens. That's right. So the um, Logitech is actually a little lower than the actual Christmas thing. I'm gonna get rid of the tag right there. This cost me two euros fifty. It's a, it's kind of a scam if you ask me. But hey, you're buying Christmas stuff during Christmas. Okay, got rid of the tag. There's glitter everywhere oh my god this is annoying okay cool uh <laughs> nice and i know that i have some back i just rolled on on uh, bubble wrapping i know that i have some um you know you see those those christmas lights blah, blah, blah. and i want them to show a little bit so i'll probably have them like this all right and i can just place the camera this all right so behind me there's nothing important but this is the part where we rack the focus we're gonna right click here we're gonna go to properties if you're if you're using logitech g hub to control your camera do this in logitech g hub if you're not then you can just click configure video and then in camera control here you can play with the focus it's probably gonna be auto so you want to uncheck that 
and just uh, play around with it until it seems like you have your thing in focus. And as you can see, you see the, the lights in the background? There you go. See that? This is the Logitech C920. This is $60. I mean, during pandemic, this is a <laughs> $100 webcam. But you can achieve this quality. Of course, there's, you know, um, RGB lighting involved and all of that. But still, the goal here is to really show you that um, there should that shouldn't be an excuse for you to not make, you know, good looking stuff and be creative. Put that creative in content creator. Anyways, okay, there you go. So that looks all right. And um, I'm gonna click apply. I really, really, really don't like the glitter part actually. That does not look good on camera. If you have something like a flashlight, you could, you know, shine it through and see what kind of results you get with it. I don't have any portable lights right here. Oh, actually I have my phone. Let's see. Okay, it looks clean. I'm gonna click okay here and I'm gonna get ready to click recording, right? Actually, I'm gonna even bring my mouse with me because I don't want to be in the shot. I could be in the shot if I wanted to actually. You know, it's my overlay after all. I could I could definitely be in the shot, but whatever. Make sure it's in focus. And I'm gonna click. One, two, three, and click. And that's it. That's it. That's our overlay. That is 100% our overlay. We can stop playing with this. Oh, okay, I can put this back, whatever. Uh, we're gonna turn it off. And now we're gonna add a media source. So I right click, add media source, and I'm gonna go find this um, file that we just created by recording in OBS Studio. So I'm gonna call it globe. Okay, and let's go find it. Boom, there it is. Booyah. Hello, why is it not playing? Click okay. There it is. There it is. And I click loop, so, so unfortunately like it, it um, it's on a weird loop, so we can definitely tell when the when it starts. But hey, we did something, right? We did something, and it's moving. And all we have to do now is, you know, decorate it a little bit. Okay? So let's decorate. Let's add some text, for example, that says starting soon. Let's type, do this, soon. Okay? Select font. If you don't have some custom fonts, you can go to dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com and get yourself some cool fonts like that one <laughs> definitely not great for this one just find a font that kind of matches the whole you know holiday e vibe okay we're actually gonna have this say starting and then we'll duplicate it to say the soon underneath it okay so right now we have starting i shouldn't be scaling this up because i know that i'm losing quality and then i'm gonna copy right click copy right click uh, duplicate so that it's a different thing and this one can say soon. Okay, that's not bad. Starting soon. Okay, now if I wanted to go crazy and I actually, you know, uh, you want a chat box or, or anything of that sort, let me group up those two things. Right click, uh, click group, group selected items. There we go. The group here in the source list, it's, you're gonna call it text. <laughs> Boom. Now you can move or scale together. That's nice. And now basically what we're going to do is just add a bunch of color sources. All right. I don't think um, OBS Studio has a color picker, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. Click color source to add it. Um, we're just not going to name this one because, you know, we're, we like to be risky like that. Select color. Yeah, there's no color picker. Hey, OBS team. That would be cool to have a, although I haven't updated in a while, so I don't know if they implemented that. But we're going to try to find a color that kind of matches this. Okay, and then we're just gonna use a combination of holding shift to stretch or holding alt to crop, okay? In order to have uh, the dimensions that we actually want. In this case, I actually kinda want whatever, I'm gonna crop this. So when it's green, that means that it has been cropped, um, which is a feature that Streamlabs OBS would really, um, <laughs> could really use so that you know when you have something that is cropped or not. Okay, cool. And the cool thing here is that we can actually duplicate this in order to not have to uh, pick the color again and again. So right click, uh, copy, right click, uh, duplicate. Now it's a different one. I can go here, I can uncrop this, I can crop this side instead, and uh, I can basically create my chat box. Hold Alt, boom, there. If you're not using OBS Live or if you're not using OwnPro, uh, you can go to 
browser and then you'll have to copy paste your chat box and modify it until it fits we're gonna call this one chat box chat uh box okay boom so i have to go to my streamlabs uh, website and go find the link to the chat box so up top here you can type chat box what happened with streamlabs where's the where's all the prime things um chatbot widget settings okay so now we are in the uh, chatbot settings up here it says widget url click copy and then just paste it here all right when it comes to the size you actually want that to not be 800 by 600 you want the width to be about 600 too let's click okay and now this is your chat box i'm gonna scale it down a little bit and depending on the size of my actual chat i might just crop it in order to just make it fit so let's go here and let's go to my twitch channel that is twitch.tv slash get level and then let's just type something in the chat box go to chat boom let's type hi hopefully get a response by nightbot boom there you go and look at that it shows up here now if i want my uh, color source to not be you know this big um purple box i can right click it go to filters and add a color correction filter color correction and lower the opacity for example right just lower the opacity just make it barely visible just like that okay as you can see it goes beyond it so i'm gonna click chat box and i'm gonna crop it holding this right there or i can go back in streamlabs and just make my text a little smaller right it's 39 pixels let's just drop it considerably boom save settings i go here it disappears but if i go back to my twitch chat and i paste this again there you go the text is a little smaller but it also fits uh the box perfectly okay and this box is a little wide usually um compared to usual uh overlays but it'll do it'll do entirely this is pretty much the the basics i'm gonna continue adding some color sources because i kind of want to have like a labels bar but it's literally it's color sources okay it's i i, I stretch and crop and drag <laughs> in order to make those labels bar um they're gonna be square or rectangular because that's the choice you have but it it's still possible to do all of this within streamlabs obs so i'm gonna fast forward this part because you you know the basic principle of it now and um yeah i'll see you when once i'm pretty much done with at least that overlay okay so apparently i can't add a group within a group so what i'm gonna do is just move the labels to a different scene just gonna copy them uh hello <laughs> come on man okay so now in this scene we can go ahead and delete all of this okay we're good and now we can add them as a scene boom labels boom and we can also you know we can crop the empty space like so and then we can scale it to fit our overlay you can put it wherever you want if you want to put it there i guess that's that actually looks all right the globe video back there we can make it a little bit bigger like that we can also add a color filter color correction filter so click plus here go to color correction and we can make it look a little bit better let me make sure that this is out of the way ish color correction color correction yeah we can play with the saturation if you want more colors for example that's also good don't go too crazy with it but you know if you want it to be black and white all of that right if you want to change the colors you can do the hue shift a little more festive colors <laughs> anything really you can also add a sharpen to make it look seem a little sharper the compression of this video you probably won't even see the difference but basically if you sharpen it too much this is what it would look like <laughs> but yeah just in case you were a little blurry or maybe the focus wasn't really on point you can always add that to make it seem a little bit better i'm actually gonna turn off the color correction i don't like it uh, i like the saturation though we can also make the chat a little thinner because like right now it's a wide boy width let's do it 400 not 4000 boom like this we'll talk a little bit 
nice now we can grab this like that and also this like that there we go now if you want to add something like a timer on top of it you can al always do that you can do you can do anything you can really really truly do anything you want with this because you made it from scratch we use nothing but obs studio to make it happen and that's it that's how you can make your own animated overlay packs straight within your broadcasting software this time obs studio again if you don't want to take the time to do this you can always go to gumroad.com get level and get yourself some free overlay packs or some paid one but very affordable ones okay don't forget to check out my other videos i also have an animated globe that you can use as a bid jar i made a video about that and of course the many christmas theme overlays including a grinch one all right if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below share this video with your streamer friends it might be helpful for them right before we go let me check who who retweeted my video last time let's go uh senpai gaming thank you so much for retweeting my latest video i always appreciate it retweet this one in order to maybe be in the next video that being said, top right, YouTube will tell you what they think is the best video for you to watch next. And at the bottom of it, you will see my recent video, my most recent video. So go check him out. Keep learning. Uh, keep live streaming. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Go out there. Make me proud. Guy level out.